Okay, so this is pretty exciting. Today we're gonna to do just a little comparison video of the Titleist TS3 and the new Titleist TSI3. Uh, so the TS3 was the, the last line of the TS drivers for Titleist. Um, they're still continuing the TS line. They're just gonna only continue with the TS1 and the TS4. And they've added in the TSI3 and also the TSI2. Uh, so probably the big differences that we're going to see between these, the TS3 has this little weight bar back here. Uh, you can unscrew this right here, pull the weight bar out, flip it around, and it'll change kind of the weight bias, whether it puts the weight more in the heel or more in the toe. And for the TSI3, we've kind of got that more classic CG track where we can move this weight around and try to create kind of a draw bias or a fade bias depending on where we put it. So right now you can see I've got it in the neutral position. Um, just looking down at these, I mean, the TSI-3 just looks really cool. You know, and I think that's Titleist, that's what Titleist is, you know, they are, they are just, they're just cool. You know, they are like the Mercedes Benz of, of club companies. Most people that, that have Titleist in their bag, they're gonna use all Titleist everywhere. You know, they got Titleist wedges, they got their Scotty Cameron putter, Titleist irons, and Titleist, Titleist driver in woods. You know, they're not the company that's gonna promise all the explosive distance. You know, they're not the TaylorMade and the Callaway that are promising more distance, more ball speed, more everything. They are just kind of the cool company. So um, let's go ahead and get over on the track, man, and see these guys compared to each other. Okay, so I have the TS3 right here. It's got the Project X Evenflow T1100, 6065 grams. I got the TSI3 here. It's got the Tour AD DI6X. This is, the Tour AD is one of their premium aftermarket shafts that you can get through Titleist. The uh, Evenflow is uh, one of their stock shafts. Both really good shafts, I like both of them a lot. Uh, they're both really actually premium shafts. Um, the TSI3, so the price point on the TSI-3, I believe, is around $549 on their website. And the TS models are listed at $485 now. Um, so I don't know if you can still get the TS-3, but if you can, I believe that's the number. So let's hit five balls. I'm going to start with the TS-3. It is cold today. I definitely should have wore little more gear hey not bad for me right out of the gates that's a lie I've already hit like 10 balls screwed up this video a few times 115 good okay so the spin is reading correctly it wasn't reading correctly earlier so I need to I got to slow down with these shafts a little bit so I'll try to swing these around 115 should give us a pretty good indicator about as good as I can hit a golf ball right there. Okay. A little hooky there. A little pulley hook. Club path was good. Wide right around 115 again. 172 ball speed. That's pretty nice. Low spin. You know, I'll say this. I've, I've hit a few balls now with the TS3 and the TS3i. TSI3. The sound of the TS3 is very loud, very tingy. Kind of reminds me of the Epic Flash, the uh, the older model. Not quite as muted. Man, I hit this thing good though. Whew. Love a nice little tight draw. I'm keeping it right around 115. I ah, see I got a bad spin reading there. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that one. I hit that really well. If anyone else has that happen with their track mans too, and they can give me some info as to why. Just occasionally, sometimes they'll get wonky spin readings. Let's hit two more. We'll go to the TS, TSI. Oh, quick hook. I'm not really taking my time now. Swing that one a little slow, a little miss hit there. Got another weird spin reading. Well, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but let's persevere. Try another one here. Whoa. 
Ooh, that was toey there. So that felt like it had no spin on it. A little block toe. Yeah, that's, that's a little more correct. We'll just do one more. I tried to delete that one as well. And come on, David. Come on. That was a bad golf swing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's switch over. Yeah, that was a little healy. Let's switch over to the TSI 3. Boom. And. What I love right out of the gates, and you may or may not be able to notice with the audio on the recording, is the sound of this club head. It's got a little more classic shape. Oh yeah, I forgot I was hooking this one earlier. It just sounds so much better. Wow, 1900 spin, that is very low. So I'm guessing that the sound has something to do with the new type of metal that they're using. <clears throat> that titanium 425 aerospace alloy, I think is what the website says. That is as good as I got, maybe a little low on the face. Let's see if it spins. 114.4, I'm slowing down. Pretty good, pretty good shot. Okay, let's put three good swings on it and then we'll call it a day. Do, do, do. Oh, toey, but not bad, a little lower. It's got 10 degrees aloft, the TS3's got 10.5, so we're probably hitting it just a touch lower. Really good numbers though, 2,500 spin. You know, it's a little softer shaft than, than would probably be for me. I usually like to swing a little faster. I'm just having to feel like I'm slowing down just a touch. I love the way this feels. I love the way that it sounds. Just a lot of straight shots too. Not a lot of curvature on the last three. 115.4, keeping it right in that zone. A little more spin. That one felt maybe a touch on the heel. It's probably why maybe I pulled it a touch. Okay, go one more here. Let's hit a little higher on the face and maybe carry it a little farther. Or just hit it in the same exact spot every single time. Mm. Pretty good hit there. Okay, so let's put these aside and let's get on the computer and take a look at the numbers. So we got the TSI 3 on top and the TS3 down here on the bottom. Uh, our smash factor with both and this is a small data set, and I took out the, the bad spin reading on the TS3. So this is four shots for the TS3, five shots for the TSI3. 1.48, pretty much the same. Uh, our club speed, pretty much identical with both. I told you that I was trying to keep it in that 115 range. Ball speed, about the same as well. Uh, attack angle, very similar. Launch angle, these are where things start to change. Uh, the launch on the TSI3 was a little bit lower. Uh, I think that has to do with the slightly stiffer shaft, having to slow the swing speed down, and a little bit less loft on the club head. Um, so I think that affected our carry numbers a little bit. I actually carried the TS3 a little bit farther, um, and my total distance was a little bit farther with the TS3. Um, club path, I was swinging pretty similar. Club face was a little bit more closed on average. I had that one that I kind of hooked off the planet there. Uh, I guess I didn't hook that one too far. This one was probably a little bit of a toe slapper. That's why that one went way far left. 
Um, our dynamic loft at impact, so 9.7 to 11.1, probably has a little bit to do with the shaft, but also that I had 0.5 degrees more loft on the TS3. Spin rate was pretty much identical with both of them. Both of them felt really good. Neither of them felt like spinny drivers, uh, which is awesome. So, you know, Titleist makes really premium clubs. Uh, they, they are not the companies that will blast you with marketing about gaining 25 extra yards or anything like that. They make very classic, very premium. They're, they're cool, you know, they are, that's, that's what they are. It's like you're, you're getting the Mercedes Benz when you buy Titleist. And as I said earlier, you know, most people who buy Titleist have everything Titleist. And that's for a reason. They, they make very good quality uh, equipment. So, you know, my, distrib or my uh, dispersion with each of them, let's see, with the TS3, uh, a little bit farther dispersion. Um, TSI 3 was a little tighter. I think if I were going to make, if I were going to choose one, I'm not going to look at these numbers necessarily just because I was having to slow my swing speed down. I'm using some shafts that I typically wouldn't use. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the TSI 3 just because of the way that it sound, sounded coming off the club face and the way that it felt coming off the club face. It felt very solid. The TS3, the numbers were fine. I would definitely be happy with that driver. It just felt tingy, you know, it sounded a little tingy. It was a little loud. Um, I like that sort of muted, um, you know, just woody, solid feeling. So if, if I were gonna recommend something, I'd probably recommend the TSI3, but that's, that's personal preference. And I think the TS3, especially for the price point, is still clearly performing top level you know of, of any of the drivers out there so uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to ask in the comments uh, but i hope you enjoyed this video and and look forward to the next one thanks